we did uh, the first four lectures of module one and now we are doing the practice session exercise one step one in step one we said we have to observe the imagination that is going on within us all the time as far as possible we have to observe it all the time why do we have to observe it all the time because we want to be having this continuity of happiness all the time so we want that we should for this continuity of happiness we need to be in harmony to be in harmony we should know first of all what is going on in the imagination so to be able to see what is going on in the imagination i have to pay attention to the imagination i have to pay attention inside so therefore we started paying attention inside and earlier we may have thought that this is not possible but as we kept paying attention inside we found it is not difficult to be able to see the thoughts but then there was this question that feeling we can't make out the feeling important thing is to keep paying attention with that decision that i want to be able to see the feeling associated at the base of my imagination because ultimately that is what is driving the thoughts the expectations and finally the behavior outside it is the feeling that is designed so we looked at this and then we were discussing some of the um, you know the doubts that several people have had in step 1 earlier sessions also so that it can give clarity for us so that we know whether we are going in the right direction or not and what to do when there seems to be an issue so one of those observations was my imagination seems to be going on only sometimes not all the time so several people have said this that i have few thoughts and much of the time i am not thinking but what we can do is we can try to keep it open whenever we are able to see the thoughts that is 100% yes i can see the thoughts whenever i am not able to see the thoughts keep it open am i not able to see the thoughts because there are no thoughts or am i not able to see the thoughts because right now my competence is limited and i am able to see maybe some of the more gross thoughts some of the thoughts that cause conflict cause disturbance and i may not be able to see the subtle thoughts which are not causing disturbance so we can keep it open and keep with that decision to observe the imagination and continue to do that another doubt was that when i try to observe my imagination i get tired or i feel sleepy and i drop off to sleep so it's possible that we are anyway functioning you know in a in a way where we lack sleep lot of times we are just functioning in a very sleep deprived manner because normally what would be the case if you feel tired at night you go to sleep but these days we have a lot of distractions laptop tv phone and all the bright light in that 
it disrupts our sleep pattern you may have all heard of i mean this is just an aside that uh, the sleep hormone melatonin that the secretion of that gets disrupted in the body when this all these bright lights are on so we force ourselves to stay awake and to keep looking at all these things and it's not just the body of course it is the self which is also very much involved very much still sort of um having many conflicting thoughts in an unresolved state when we have many conflicting thoughts we get very tired so a moment that you are sort of relaxed you might fall asleep and that's okay too because you do need to get some sleep but if we are trying to get to observe the imagination that doesn't happen then because we've fallen asleep so try to observe the imagination at a time when you're not very tired and sleepy try to do it at a time when you are alert awake maybe first thing in the morning or at least some time in the day when you're not feeling very tired or sleepy then you will be likely to be able to observe but at no point should we try to force this so if i think oh i can't see now i have to force myself and i have to i must see i must see why am i not seeing this is all reaction this is not observation then we are not really paying attention we are just talking thinking about it so just be relaxed whatever comes let us observe without changing without accepting i mean without uh, sort of going with the um, flow of the imagination but coming out and observing and if we go with the flow accepting that yes this will happen it might sometimes be that i start flowing with the imagination that's okay too but when i again become aware that i was supposed to be observing the imagination no problem i slipped from where i was and i was flowing with the imagination now i became aware from now on i can further keep watching so in this manner very gently we can keep bringing our focus back to the imagination and keep seeing whatever there is sometimes we may see things within us that are not acceptable to us because we have a different image of ourselves and we think how can i think such thoughts but rather than go into all that just observe okay you know these thoughts are also there in me and just keep with that decision keep observing i think we did this also that sometimes these doubts are there when you say the attention goes elsewhere where does it go we are saying that imagination is there all the time but then we are also saying that whenever you slip and you go you know flow then we, and you say when you get back so where do you get back from so it should be very clear what what is happening in this process what are we actually doing so now two things are going on one is that the imagination of course is going on continuously in the imagination there are feelings there are thoughts there could be conflicting thoughts and you could be having you know one thought for something then a 
another contrary thought. And then you're trying to analyze things, you're trying to compare things and see what works better for you and so on. So all this is going on in the B2 block. But when we say observe, that observation happens from a little bit of a distance from it. And we took the example of one was, you know, if you are in the thick of traffic versus if you are watching from some distance. Say you are on top of a high rise building, there, from there you are watching. Or if your, you know, thoughts are like a flowing stream and you are also flowing with that stream, then you are in that B2 block. But if you come out of that stream and you sit on the side on the banks of the stream and from there you start seeing the flowing stream, now there's a difference. Now you're watching from a distance. So this is like observing the imagination. This is happening from the B1 block. So supposing I say I want to watch my imagination, I want to observe my imagination. So I start with that and I can see some thoughts. But then one of the thoughts I get is about my neighbor who had said something harsh to me yesterday. Now I start going back into that. It's like going into that tunnel, that part. And now I am totally involved with how she said it and what were her facial expressions like, and what was I thinking that time, what was I feeling. Now, all of that, I am reliving that. This is not observation. Now I have slipped into the stream, and I am flowing with those thoughts, with that imagination. So at some point, it will occur to me, what am I doing? I was supposed to be observing. So, okay, never mind. It slipped. I mean, I stopped observing and I went into this. Now let me start observing. So you'll find that whatever is important to us, whatever is unresolved in us, it keeps coming back and we keep sort of paying attention to it from time to time. But the important thing is not to flow with it. The important thing is to be able to see it, to be able to identify what is it that is, you know, coming, surfacing in our imagination. Because that tells us what we are really thinking about, what we are feeling. And then we can sort of see whether it is in line with what we want to be or not. So whenever you find that you are flowing with the imagination and then whenever you get back, get back meaning whenever you realize that, oh, I am flowing with the imagination, I was supposed to be observing. Now you get back very gently and start from there. So that's what was the meaning of this. And yesterday we gave the assignment also for um, the usual when we say, no, you have to pay attention. And now that we have been practicing for some time, more and more we can try to observe more frequently during the whole day so that throughout the day, as often as possible, you can witness your imagination, observe the imagination. Because ultimately, we want to be happy every moment. So we want to be able to observe the imagination also every moment. Another important point that we had mentioned here was 
which came up yesterday don't try to tell yourself what to think the idea is just to observe whatever is going on i don't have to direct myself okay let me now think about such and such thing no then we are just thinking rather than do that you can just let the imagination go wherever it wants without trying to curb it without trying to direct it without trying to force yourself to think something sometimes people think you know i was having these thoughts of eating something and i thought no no i should not think this no observe observe even this that i was wanting to eat something okay whatever will keep coming up observe it so this is what we have to do and if there are any further questions on this or if there are any observations about this we can take them now okay namaskar to all uh, madam whenever we are uh, going with the thoughts mm-hmm. uh, again we are coming back uh, without our notice that is one what we observed what do you uh, mean without your notice notice means what uh, whenever we are going with the thoughts uh, uh when we come back uh, uh, and uh, uh, we are witnessing the thoughts that we don't know na unknowingly it is happening what do you mean when mean you me? get back who, how are you able to say that you got back ah uh, that i don't know by itself uh, i am again uh, i am becoming aware ah you are becoming aware means now you you started paying attention yeah 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 In so middle, you were flowing with the thoughts Ah, yeah, madam. At some point, again, you become aware ah. that no, no, I was supposed to be paying attention. Again, yeah. stop paying attention. So how uh, that is num number one, number two. No, what is the I... question there? Is there a question, question there? Question means uh, question is for both the uh, means for both the points. Uh, okay. So how how should I uh, minimize this? And number two, when I'm uh, when I'm witnessing unknowingly. i am going to the uh, thoughts so yes. how can i maximize this yes. in both the cases without my notice it is happening yeah so it is true that lot of times we are flowing with the thoughts yeah yeah madam now we are able to observe earlier yeah. we may have thought there aren't many thoughts because we couldn't see it that yeah, is possible ma'am. no yeah now ma'am. at least we are paying attention so mm-hmm. now when we started paying attention we can see this that yes there are thoughts and sometimes i am flowing with the thoughts other times i am seeing the thoughts so this yes. what is happening is the imagination of course is going on all the time that is happening in the b2 block yes, now sir. problem is only where my center is where am i looking from or you know where my focus is so if i am looking from the pure observer point the highest point in the b1 block from there if i am observing i am able to see this these thoughts are going on mm-hmm. but if i am not at that point if i am just you know in the b2 block mm-hmm. flowing with the thoughts then i am not able to observe it that's all so when you actually flow into the thoughts you are at that point when you went into the thoughts and got into the thoughts mm. at that point you were not aware mm-hmm. obviously isn't it that's how you got in but when you mm. get back when you say get back at that point you became aware mm-hmm. oh i was supposed to be now at that point you are in that b1 block from there you are looking so you are again back to observing mm-hmm. then again you will slip like you are saying it seems to happen on its own mm-hmm. that you slip into the thoughts again and again and that will happen because that's the pattern we've always been doing no? we haven't been observing from the beginning all mm-hmm. this time we didn't even become aware that we had thoughts going on we were only looking outside 
now yes. we have become aware of the thoughts we have become aware that we can observe these thoughts mm-hmm. so now when we see that we can do this you will find that initially you may have been spending a lot of time just flowing with the thoughts mm-hmm. and occasionally you notice the time or something and you come out of it but mm-hmm. as you keep doing this exercise on a regular basis you will mm-hmm. find that the duration that you just flow with the thoughts becomes less and less okay okay and how much time you are alert and paying attention that becomes more and more okay okay madam so okay. by practice by practice we can improve this thanks a lot madam thank you and this is why we say you know that people who feel you know if you don't know this when people uh, some people when they are told that you know you can do this they say we don't have time yeah yeah but when you start doing you find that your focus improves yeah yeah our effort is uh, in- in- increasing yeah i mean uh, your result is also showing that earlier if i was reading one page and oh. if my attention kept drifting to something else three four mm. times it mm. will take me much longer to read now that same page i read my attention is not shifting again and again my focus mm. is staying there because of this practice yeah yeah madam so now i am actually saving time i have okay. an observation which i want to like uh, want to know whether it is uh, i am in the right path or not see the mm-hmm. thing is when i, I when i go into uh, observing the thought mm-hmm. then i know uh, i know that what kind of thoughts are running like it uh, like is it desirable or undesirable i know i'm in harmony and i feel good sometimes and sometimes mm-hmm. i know uh, that i am into uh, i'm observing something which creating disharmony in me mm-hmm. okay Is and at harmony? some just one second this harmony or disharmony yeah. that you are feeling that is mm-hmm. the reason for that is the feeling okay the feeling that is there at the base of the ha huh. that i know that there is something and when i when i try to see why i am having this kind of feeling then most of the time i find it the it is preconditioning okay mm-hmm. and it is either it is preconditioning or it is sensorial but i mm-hmm. never find that it is somehow naturally expressed to me so when i will reach to that state when i mean when i'll see ki okay this is what is naturally accepted to me most of the time it is preconditioned most of the time it is sensorial so i don't know like uh, i'm in a right path or not or how long yeah. i'll take to reach to that level yeah. yeah so if you remember the uh, fdp you did the ftp level 2 workshop hanji hanji so in that we make this chart you know there is a circle yes. and we say how much of the imagination is driven by preconditioning how much by sensation and how much by natural acceptance right and we said that for the vast majority less than 5% is natural yeah. acceptance given isn't it we said that you okay recall? so okay. mostly no, that, that we was missing actually only 5% uh, were in the space to get natural acceptance okay. in that whole chart maximum imagination was coming from preconditioning a very large chunk also from sensation and a very small bit of the imagination was coming from or being motivated by natural acceptance and this is how it usually is for most people when to begin with but as you keep paying attention and when we do these exercises you know in when we go to the further steps we'll see how we can have our imagination in line with our natural acceptance more and more so this will happen slowly right now we are just you know on the first step we are starting with baby steps Okay. so we are just trying to observe just trying to see what it is okay. right now we are not even thinking about you know 
how to get there or all that will come but first okay. and foremost see because if we are analyzing things if we are trying to see why why it's not happening now it is a reaction at that point i have stopped observing can you see yes yes but, yes ha uh, but when you observe you will notice this now you know i am feeling uncomfortable i don't have the right feeling and my thoughts are like this or i am comfortable and so i have the right feeling and my thoughts are okay so this you will be able to notice so don't jump into it right now just observe whatever it is even if it is not naturally acceptable just observe it don't try to change it or do anything with it okay okay didi one more thing it's no. like uh, it's like it's now in my observation that when i whenever i am in 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 conflict situation mm-hmm. then i suddenly switch to like switch to the point what do exactly i want do i want mm-hmm. a relationship or do i want opposition mm-hmm. so now practice i have started i am not saying like it's happening uh, 100% but yes 5 to 10% it has started nice so this is this is a big achievement which i which i think yeah uh, like it's it's a, it's a very good feeling yes right? because now at that point you are aware then you are asking yourself that right right earlier you may have been flowing with that imagination and you know thinking you know the other person why did did they do this and all of that but right. now you become aware and so now you are referring to your natural acceptance which is very good third thing when i observe i know the moment when i am taking off to another uh, observation and i also know when i am coming back or when i am switching the thought this is also like it's not like it's happening i am flowing i know exactly because maybe somewhere i am putting full stop okay bahut ho gaya now i should not think like this i should think something else uh, maybe like the, you say that it should not be forcefully hmm. but at that it happens that when i say ki are how long i will be in uh, this kind of thought so mm-hmm. like going deep into it from where this thought is coming what is the source then finding out all these things it, it it takes time right yeah see lot of times you don't have to go into why i'm thinking like this where is it coming from how did it start see no mostly mostly where like i don't know where i don't even go for all the thoughts like this but usually you know the catchy thoughts that takes time and then i know like it's not it's too long i should not stuck into one because it's like nadi mein kood jana wala cheez hai so i should come back to the bank and sit and observe all these things come into my mind mhm but uh, god knows like what is that, that also mean? observe it at this point all we are saying is observe whatever is going on just observe it okay become aware of it that's okay. all okay as we do the further steps uh we'll have clarity about how to go about things okay thank you really thank you so much yeah really yeah, i could be able to observe my uh feelings and uh, imagination uh, most frequently in a day mm-hmm. uh, actually since long uh, last time onwards i used to practice more and more regarding these exercises Mm-hmm. and what i able to find is mm, almost uh, my feelings are uh, uh, very uh, i am very good feelings uh, mo- most mm-hmm. of the time nice. even uh, mm-hmm. even i slip into some negative thought or image process immediately i come i can come out of that and uh, mm-hmm. my thought uh, image process is going to be immediately shifted to towards positive mm-hmm. so and uh, one thing second thing is uh, i always uh, my imagination process is uh, went into past uh, uh, incidents uh, which uh, through which i am having uh, nice feelings only not uh, that uh, negative incidents and uh, all those uh, 
uh, i am not getting of course mm-hmm. because of this understanding and uh, strong feeling of relationship with every unit and uh, coexistence uh, in the existence and all these but uh, my doubt is uh, i uh, always my almost uh, most of the times uh, my mind went into past incidents through which i am getting even though uh, nice or good feelings uh, is it uh, naturally acceptable or I, uh, my mind is not in the present only i went to past and it is not good or i yeah. have a doubt yes see thing is we want to be resolved isn't it Right. ultimately that is the thing we want to be resolved we want to be having the right feeling within yes yes sometimes what happens is something is disturbing but we are not aware of it at this time we are not so comfortable so we go drift back into the past try to bring out all those times when we felt very good yes and now we are flowing with that yes so but still we are flowing with the imagination isn't yes. it yes we are not aware at that time yes so that's not such a good thing why because we are trying to observe now, even yes. if we are feeling good we are still dependent on that you know what happened back then how i was we are reliving those moments yes so rather than do that just think all those moments that we spent looking back at the joyous times what we call memories and so on yes. Yes. all that time we could have been doing something very constructive at this moment yes. what is happening at this moment we are not aware i'll give you an example supposing yes. you are eating you know your favorite food now you are putting spoon after spoon in your mouth but in your thoughts something else is going on yes isn't it yes. now you are flowing with that imagination you are reliving those moments isn't it yes but yes. are you aware of what you are eating no uh, uh, slowly no, we forget no. the taste no. the taste or anything <laughs> taste also you may not be aware of yes after a few moments somebody asks you is the sugar okay in that dessert and you are not sure yes isn't it yeah. so what happened here what was going on in the present moment we weren't aware yes we had gone yes. into the past somewhere to feel good but yes. what if you can feel good every moment right here you don't have to go back to look at something to feel good yes. no that possibility is there yes. so we should look at that possibility yes yeah uh, i feel uh, sometimes uh, such a type of uh, environment why can't i create now and uh, live uh, in that uh, uh, i can myself uh, may be able to uh, make uh, that arrangement uh, that uh, type of environment and uh, i live uh, uh, in that uh, type of environment at present also how what do i do i i am getting uh, such type of uh, thoughts also sometimes yeah that's what i'm saying when we are not resolved we try to find some way of avoiding what yeah. where there is discomfort and moving towards where there is comfort yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. this is what we are doing so yeah. now instead of doing that look at the possibility that i can be resolved i can be in comfort this moment and be aware yes so yes. when i start seeing that that is also a possibility now i will start paying attention to becoming aware more and more and slowly yes. you will find that as we you know again you will be doing the steps i know you have done the steps before but a lot of times you know we even what we hear what we do is with the preconditionings with our own yes. preconditioning yes. so with that you may have understood something now when you do the exercises again you may find something fresh that you notice yes and as you do the exercise you will be able to see this change happening that you won't have to drift back 
sometimes you know what happens when we drift back into the imagination and some pleasant thoughts are there we don't want to come out of it it's like yeah. let it continue yes. <laughs> so somewhere we are dependent on that for our happiness yes. we need not be in the present we can be aware and be happy so that's the goal yeah Sorry. yeah yeah i will try my uh, what would be the difference between thought and imagine for me it looks to be the same yeah it looks the same because we are able to observe the thought to begin with yeah hmm? but okay. if when you say imagination we are referring to the feeling the thought the expectation all three okay. uh, all of these three are going on in the uh, b2 block within us within the self yeah yes ma'am one so one more thing to begin with we are only able to notice the thought yeah but at the base of the thought there is mm. some feeling okay and we call it feeling because you feel it mm. that we have to catch because that is what is determining the thought mm. okay. but these are but, all part of the imagination yes okay then second thing when i am with thought or imagination when we start observing it i feel that my thought imagination flow has stopped and then i am able to observe okay i was thinking all these things these huh. two are not in parallel right yes, or yes. is it possible to be flow in parallel yeah so you know this is a new thing for us isn't it yeah. we haven't been doing this forever and ever we just started yes. doing this so <clears throat> it's like when you are doing when you are writing abc as oh. a child now you can't even hold the pencil straight many yeah. times somebody helps you hold the pencil oh and you know we have those you remember those yes ma'am images of dotted alphabets that you have to just write over the dots oh i don't know if they do that anymore but it used to be there when we were children oh so, then somebody holds your hand and makes you go over those dotted lines and then you put it and then you put the b and all those things seem to be so difficult oh wow. but now if you look back now where are you now you write very fluently very fast without even thinking about it at all no consideration it so quick why because you've had the practice of doing it so many times and now you became very good at it skilled at it uh, we abhi we have just started looking at thought yeah imagination the flow of the imagination we are uh, trying to observe so initially this is what will happen okay if you don't realize that you are flowing with the thoughts then after some time you recall i was uh, thinking about that and that's also okay to begin with but ultimately will be it will be happening in parallel real time okay okay uh, okay and you'll be able to observe that yeah. the capacity to observe the as you go from lower activity to higher activity mm. higher activities are more and more and more subtle than the lower activities mm. so you are observing from the highest point okay. high mm. activity from there that possibility is there to look at this while it is happening uh, but slowly it will come with practice okay. it will happen okay didi okay so um we we'll go forward little bit more next yeah so one more of the observation or the doubts that at times when i'm trying to see my imagination i see it for some time and then it is as if it is blank there's nothing there this also some of you had mentioned right so what is happening here we are trying to see we see also the imagination is going on and then there's blank nothing seems to be there 
so the imagination is going on in the b2 block our observation is happening from b1 block right so one possibility is that what we mentioned earlier that the thoughts the imagination is going on in the b2 block but i am not able to see from the b1 block so it looks like there is no imagination this is the when we are starting this is the commonest possibility another possibility is that when we are trying to observe the imagination now you see something that is very disturbing to you and without really being aware of it you stop observing that and you go blank so that is also one possibility so either way what we have to do is just to be aware and observe without evaluating if you don't try to evaluate if you don't try to judge it if you don't try to label it that it is right imagination or wrong imagination all that if you don't do and you don't try to change it you don't try to stop it then you will find that the observation process you become better and better at it because then you are really observing if you are trying to change it or stop it at that point you are not observing anymore so we'll do that ultimately we will get the imagination in line with the natural acceptance but that will come in the later steps those of you who are doing this exercise first time try not to change the imagination try not to stop it or evaluate it or judge it just try to observe it as it is without you know having any other uh you know not trying to see if it is right for me or not right for me just observe it as it is so this is what we've been saying next slide please yes so this is about step 1 self observation self awareness i need to be observing my imagination at this moment and every moment i need to observe my desire that is my feeling because every desire is associated with a feeling and that feeling you will be able to feel within yourself feeling thought and expectation at any moment so particularly our focus needs to come to the feeling to observe the feeling and try to observe your feeling going on at any moment just as it is don't try to evaluate it don't react to it don't try to stop it don't try to change it and if your attention has shifted somewhere else it's okay don't worry don't get upset just see okay i drifted and whenever you become aware you come back to your decision to observe the imagination and start from there you will notice that your attention will come back naturally to your imagination after some time you don't have to force yourself you don't have to get upset you don't have to feel guilty nothing like that at some point you will realize oh i drifted it's okay now i'll start observing so no force is required in all of this we can just do it in a very gentle manner yeah so we'll try to observe our imagination we have to do this every moment for now when we observe we'll do it for 10 minutes and you notice at the end of the 10 minutes how long your attention stayed on the imagination so out of those 10 minutes how long does your attention stay on your imagination also notice does the imagination stay on one topic or does it keep shifting from one topic to another topic and if your attention is going somewhere else where is it going what are you paying attention to hmm 
did you decide the object of attention yourself with awareness or does it seem to be happening by itself like earlier it was mentioned no it looks like it's just happening spontaneously on its own so have you decided that yes now i want to think about this or did it just happen that you started thinking about something and try to observe the feeling thought and expectation distinctly in your imagination so we'll do this for 10 minutes i think we can keep this slide only instead of the observation slide so that we are all aware of what we are trying to see in our imagination and then we'll take maybe one odd quick observation so for 10 minutes i'll mute myself here
Okay, we have been observing for almost 10 minutes. Um, if there is any quick observation or any question right now, we can take it. This is a very important step. And we'll need some time to, you know, uh, become efficient at doing this. So we'll spend some more time just doing the step one. We may go further. You know, if we look at the course content, we will next be doing and the next couple of lectures in this module, and then we'll go on to the other steps. That's so that we can have sufficient time to practice this step within us. Yes, please. Yes, madam. Yes, please. So in this uh, 10 minutes duration, I, I observed uh, more thoughts, but with less duration. What do you mean? Uh, suppose uh, sometimes uh, on even, uh, even on a single imagination, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, a, uh, for a long time, actually, previously. Oh, you mean, no, you are uh, observing for longer time? Now? Yeah, yeah, observing longer time. Okay. And also, the uh, what I observed, the imagination uh, lasts for uh, a few uh, minutes only, few seconds only sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes the imagination may be lo longer, uh, imagination may be of uh, longer time, but uh, this 10 minutes what I observed, uh, for less duration, the imagination is there. And more uh, uh, number of that... thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Please, is it uh, how I understood what you're saying is that you are able to observe more frequently than before and uh, you're not flowing with the imagination for too long. Very yeah, quickly yeah, yeah. you're able to become aware. That's yes, what you're saying. Right? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Very nice. Very nice. Madam, thank you.